Welcome to Beard Brothers. We're cycling from London to the South Coast. It's going to be a... cycling from here all the way to Brighton then to the Isle of Wight and along the south coast of England. So we're just leaving Buckingham Palace, we're on the move, setting off and now we're just going to head off down the mall or the mall, the mall. where the trooping of the colour is performed. You don't go on the motorway, would you? <laughs> Why, what are you, what are you boys going to do about it? No, no I'm just saying, <laughs> live, live longer. <laughs> you won't catch us. for the camera is broken which is why I'm trying to shout a little bit because we're not sure I've got the inbuilt Michaels. Fortunately this wire here Well that's that's our normal that's, mic. Uh, is this the normal mic we use with all the wing cancelling so you can hear us is broken but we're gonna go to another camera shop. I've just been inside this one. We don't have the mic we need so I'm gonna go to another camera shop now and hopefully they've got a new mic. New mic old mic rubbish mic just gone over Tower Bridge and it's nearly two o'clock now and we're starving. So Chris has gone into the supermarket now just to get some snacks and some sandwiches. which leads us all the way to Brighton and yeah the sun's out it's getting late it's 10 past 4 now and we haven't really left London <laughs> so we've got some hard riding to do Stopped to have a quick rest and bite to eat in the park. Just um, waiting for Luke. Here's, here's Luke now, hold on. Luke, I've just stopped to eat some chicken. Any left? Well, I don't know, I've got nothing else in here. Got some nuts. Harry, what's this? No. <laughs> <laughs> you stand there, you'll sit there for hours. <laughs> See you later, Harry. This doesn't feel like London. Ah, oh, you can hear the birds, there's trees, no cars. Yeah, so 
Chris has just gone inside this pub to grab the water. <sighs> oh. Well done. Water supply. Good work. Yeah, and she liked me in there, so she just stuffed my pockets full of biscuits. Thanks to Lady in the White Bear pub. Route 21, London to Brighton. Hello. Hello. We're cycling now along Route 21 and we're just trying to find a place to camp. Everywhere's got fences so we can't get into camp. Ah, the light is fading. <laughs> and we need to find a little bit muddy. A little bit muddy. Oh, this track is so hard to ride on. Oh, whoa, whoa, good, 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 good. Ooh, that looks perfect. He does. I can't believe that's just called everywhere fences, and then we get. Looks like some good spots. Where to camp here? This was made for wild camping. What about behind those bushes? Here. Yeah. Welcome to Tent Talks. Yay! It's back. Just a fun fact about London. It's uh, where I was born and raised, so lived there most of my life. Thought I would never leave London, but finally, we found somewhere to put the tent up outside of London, and I couldn't be happier. I was well, like, well, oh. well, 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 wait, wait a sec, Luke. So we're still in London. Well, well, kind of. Because oh, man. we haven't crossed the M25 yet. You're joking. And, and for our American for our American viewers, the M25 is the motorway that circles London, and it's kind of the unofficial boundary of London. What was my favourite thing of London? Well, I would say leaving it. I'm not going to. I'm going to say something more positive. So my favourite part of London was. This is so hard, why can't I find something? There's so many amazing things in London. I know. Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, Houses of Parliament, Tower Bridge, all the art museums. Yeah. E even the architecture. That's great. I think uh, my favourite thing was the flags, the Union <laughs> Jack flags. <laughs> The flags. <laughs> but we just had all the Union Jack flags out and I just thought, well, oh, I felt proud to be British and I thought that was nice. I'm so tired. Oh, man, it has been a long, long day. I can't wait to fall asleep. Mm. Not Luke. Mm. Good morning. This is where we camped last night of this field just outside London. Good morning. Morning. Day two. Yeah, bright and here we come. You ready to go Chris in a bit? Yeah. Yeah. Apart from all this stuff we've got to pack up. But magic in a second that'll all be packed up on our bikes and we'll be heading off. Ooh. And the bikes are ready. Time to get going. Hello. Make a left here. Hello. Hi. Golf down there. Need a bit of golf. Beautiful day for it. They didn't mention this on the map. 
bit bumpy. Uh oh. Downhill. Why aren't you saying hello? We're continuing south towards Brighton and we're about to hit the M25. It's so hot. We're changing into vests. T-shirts off. Got some sun. You can hear the M25 there. Yeah, I think that's definitely the M25. We've just got under the M25 motorway, which surrounds London, which means we've now unofficially left London. lunch at three o'clock not eating anything all day yet and because we're hunter gatherers we managed to catch a whole chicken Beautiful. time to get going taking off, we've got trains going past, we're still on Route 21. Let's go. I think we're in Crawley. Excuse me, am I in Crawley? Yes, you are in Crawley. <laughs> we are in Crawley, it's been confirmed. <laughs> to find their way out. Man, we have just been all around Crawley trying to find out and then I've checked on the map and apparently Route 21 now changes to Route 20 but there's no signpost anywhere. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hidden Route 20. Route 20, hidden behind a bush. Oh man, Route 20 or Route 21. Take your pick, one of them is taking it out of me. <laughs> but we're gonna go on Route 20, because that is now the official route. So we've just left Crawley and we've come onto this track on Route 20. And now, we're just gonna keep cycling until we find somewhere to camp. Water bottles filled up. I think this water will get us to Brighton. Nice. It might not. <laughs> It's getting really late now. We need to find a place to camp, but there's just hedges to this side and the main road to this side. It's a nightmare. We made it just before the rain started to come down. It was so touch and go. It was dark outside. Um, there's lightning outside now, and we think there's going to be a thunderstorm tonight. So this should get pretty pretty interesting night ahead of us. Uh -oh. It's been a very hard day today. That bike is a lot heavier than I'm used to. And it's really taking it out of me. Ugh. So I'm gonna get my head down, because we've got an early start. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. So this is where we camped last night. Got the bikes and the tent. Morning Chris. Morning. Should we pack the tent up and head off to Brighton? 
about 10 miles to Brighton. And I think Brighton should provide us with breakfast. Brighton. Which way do we go? Brighton. No bike track. No, uh, no. Try that way if it's going to be that way, my friend. All right. Luke, what are you doing? Just eating nuts. Oops. We shouldn't have listened to that guy, we've gone the wrong way. So we're heading back on ourselves to find Route 20 again. We've got the main roundabout, turn right, okay, that would be the main road through to Brighton, right down to the seafront. <laughs> Is now. <laughs> that was me. She calls it the Ten Talk YouTube program. And along with what was the other thing? It was something to do with a stick. Play, play. Oh, when he wakes me up with a stick. Just found here a very large poking stick. Get up, Luke. I, th I thought our, our demographic was middle-aged men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I break it to you, middle-aged women. Hi! 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 Look at this, Brighton Pier. The famous Brighton Pier. me and you should be able to see Chris on the pier waving. Hello. I think it's his turn next. I think he deserves it. He did help me blow this up. Alright mate. Try anything. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love the motor. <laughs> well then Luke. Brighton Pier, tick, <laughs> complete. So I'm getting married. Yeah. Doing a treasure hunt. So okay. Get some form of exercise. <laughs> So, I've always wanted to swim around Brighton Pier. I almost did it last year. I got to the end of the pier, but my girlfriend said she didn't want me to go out of sight. But this year, she's not here, so I'm going to go around. Although I don't think I'm allowed to because I also got told off by the lifeguard last year for going really far out. Shh. See you in a bit, Chris. Here comes Chris. There he is, the rule breaker. As soon as he goes past that boy. Uh oh. 
Swam all the way around Brighton Pier. Oh. Brighton Pier. Tick. What's the matter with your teeth? I'm not actually cold, but <laughs> his <laughs> teeth. I just can't. Teeth, <laughs> teeth just keep chattering. He can't even talk. He's so high for one. Right. The, the oh. sea wasn't actually that cold. It just. I'm just waiting. Wait. Just waiting for Luke to get a shot. <laughs> it's a hot <laughs> tread water for about 10 minutes out of the Oh no, well done though, mate. Seriously. Oh, no. It just, I, it, it just suddenly, oh, sorry, just calm down now. It just suddenly went, it just suddenly went, uh, I just suddenly went, I'm cold. So now we're gonna leave Brighton and go and try and find a place to camp tonight. Thanks, Brighton. Yeah, Good great, times. great day out. Great day. So on our left is the old pier, burnt down a few years ago. Well, Darren, the West Pier was once regarded as one of the finest structures of its kind around the UK coastline. Over those 137 years, it starred in feature films, it's survived winter storms, it's even survived controversy over those plans to restore it, plans which have now been dealt a serious blow. Big ship there. Waiting for the lock to close so that we can get over. It's not the fastest ship I've ever seen. He can't be relying on those two lads up there, can he? Iceberg, dead ahead, sir. <laughs> Massive. Well, hey. So we left Brighton now, and this is where we join Route 2. This way. Now on Route 2, we've left Brighton, we're headed along the coast, we've got these beach huts to our left and now we're just cycling on into the dusk as the sun sets, just trying to find a place to camp. So for the second night running, we're heading into the night without a place to camp and it's our own fault because we spent too much time in Brighton having fun in the sea. So this hasn't gone very well, we're now going past Worthing Pier and yeah, the nightlife is in full swing yet yeah, all we want to do is get our head down. Oh well, there goes uh, Worthing Pier. We are now camped next to an abandoned boat on a beach um, but that's about all we could see. We can see the beach, we can see the boat, but everything else, because it was dark, we don't know where we are, so we'll find out in the morning. Luke, do you know why Brighton's called Brighton? Brighton is called Brighton because it's a bright town. Now, I don't know the science behind it, but it is, it's just bright. Hopefully tomorrow we're going to hit Bognor Regis. It's called Bognor Regis because it's, Regis means royal, so Bognor Royal. If you follow us on Instagram, at Beer Brothers UK, we we sometimes send live streams about our videos, so it's interesting. Sometimes if people are local, you know they want to come and say hello. It's now quarter to midnight, which we never we're never up this late. Mm. <laughs> never. No, because we're always so tired from cycling and doing adventure stuff that we always go to bed pretty early. See you in the morning. Night, Luke. <laughs> Good night, YouTube. Good morning. But Luke and I said we would leave a little bit early today. So it's just gone six. Let's see if Luke's awake. Morning, Luke.
Another day, another pedal. Did we say we'd leave early today? We did. So last night we were looking for a secure place for the bikes, so we ended up locking it to this anchor. Secure? Absolutely. If you want our bikes you've got to take a boat. Time for a cup of coffee. <laughs> Well, yeah, we do a bit for us, freelance, yeah. freelance yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you were serious when I saw that drone. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> yeah. It's not something, I think I've got to lug this up bloody halfway up the French Alps next weekend. <laughs> yeah, you, need, you guys need a drone, man, if you're going to be doing this. You need, everybody's got drones, isn't it? These in northern Canada are the largest and most powerful in the world, and they are setting out to hunt. The pack is 25 strong, a sign that the prey they are seeking is formidable. And you've yeah. got a YouTube channel as well? Yeah, we have. Indeed, what's, it, yeah. what's it called? Uh, high Perspective. High Perspective, yeah. yeah. Higher Perspective. Higher Perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just walk down, down here. Down here. Yeah. Road Dominion. Uh, Mont Blanc, Chamonix. Oh, Chamonix, yeah. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, Paul. See Cheers, you later. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll touch, yeah, we'll check, we'll check your channel out. We've just arrived in Little Hampton and we're just going to go and find somewhere for breakfast. And I've got a secret cycle touring hack we're going to show you. I think you can park it around the back. It's there. Hash browns? Yeah, he's, he's just gone to get a coffee. That's all right. Enjoy. Coffee. Just going to join Chris. Chris, what have we got here? Another full English. Little Hampton next to the beach. Tuck in. A bike touring life hack. When you come to a place called Harvester and there's other pubs in in Britain and in England where they get off you unlimited breakfast where you can just keep ordering and ordering the unlimited breakfast you order a second plate of breakfast if you bring one of these sneaky then all you have to do is go sorted. Hello. So we've left Little Hampton now and we are back on route two headed towards Bognor Regis. down the beach. I'm going to meet my friend who lives here. So really excited. So we're just going to head down here and find Anthony's house. He's Chris's friend. Hey, yes, and today. So yeah, Andy and I used to live together for a couple of years, so old friends. But while we're here, we're going to attempt a world record attempt to see how many punches my friend Anthony can do in five seconds. A Beard Brothers world record. Some of the events you're about to see are hazardous. They are performed by experts. We urge you not to attempt to duplicate them. 
the spectacular world of Guinness Records. We're about to attempt a world record attempt for the most amount of punches in five seconds. The current record stands at 29. So we've got 29 to beat. Three, two, one. Congratulations on the world record. <laughs> yeah, unofficial <laughs> Beer Brothers world record holder. We just arrived to Chichester. If you're going to put us up, that's, that's really good. Yeah, <laughs> we knew the church was generous. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> like, thanks for saying. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Thank you. We've left Ch Chichester, Chichester, and we're on Route 2 again, and now we're just trying to find a place to camp for the night. find somewhere down this country lane. the tent but we've still not managed to eat tonight so we're gonna go walk over to what we think is like an estuary and we're gonna make some food there because we're starving absolutely starving are you hungry Chris yeah super hungry <laughs> Okay, to ten talks. Good night. Morning. So today we're going to head to Portsmouth and get the ferry to the Isle of Wight. Let's go and wake Luke up. Morning, Luke. Morning. Portsmouth and the Isle of Wight today. Yeah. So welcome today. <laughs> I can't remember what Five, day. I think. Day five. 
Welcome to day five. We just come over this bridge here to Hailing Island just before we hit Portsmouth. I think we've got a ferry to catch, just a small ferry to catch the Portsmouth before we get the main ferry to up the Isle of Wight. So the ferry comes in 15 minutes, so we better go. Yeah. Come on, Luke. Let's go. <laughs> where we catch the ferry to Portsmouth from. I can't even see it. Oh, the orange top. Oh, okay. Where have you come from then? Uh, only London. Oh, right. Only, only uh, what, well, you say, come from London? Yeah, we went London to Brighton and along the coast. Oh, right. yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Just started, really. So. And there you go. Nice little boat. Which is, this is Langston Harbour and now we're going to be going across the sea to Portsmouth. This is one of the shortest ferry journeys, this is about three minutes long. And how much did it cost for us? 5.50 each. 5.50 each? Yeah, so 11 pounds. It's nearly two pound a minute. Yeah, we're almost there, look. Are we here? Yeah, yeah. We've just <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's very quick. Yeah. We're now looking for Portsmouth Harbour. There's got to be somewhere here because that's where the sea is. Ticket for two, um, but we do need to go now because the ferry's leaving. Quick! You're gonna have to come against the side somewhere. Over there, somewhere. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah, yeah. Just in front of that trailer, please, guys. That's us leaving Portsmouth, Isle of Wight, 45 minutes away. Is it hilly, is it? Oh yeah. There's some roads that are so bad, you know, I was driving up there. Oh, fuck. Oh. Chris, what, what have we just been told? That the Isle of Wight is very hilly. Even though I did actually know that, and I didn't tell you Luke, sorry. But... <laughs> right, that's it, I'm going home. I'm going. Can I, um, I've just found out the Isle of Wight is hilly. Is there any way of getting off? No. no. Behind us is the Isle of Wight. We're just arriving now on the ferry. Then we're gonna get going. Hello. Hey. Hello, Chris. It's the second longest pier. Britain, which is Ride on the Isle of Wight. Just been to get fish and chips, and now we've found this old windmill. 
apparently is the one of the last surviving original windmills on the Isle of Wight. So now we're just going to sit and eat this because we're starving. Chips. And then we've got Luke's tea. <laughs> one fish. <laughs> Since we left the windmill, this fog has just descended on us and we just we just can't see where we're going. <laughs> so we think we're heading for a cliff, which is not good when it's this foggy. You can just barely see that tree there and that's so close. <laughs> so we're just cycling up this road. <laughs> Chris has gone up there, disappeared into the mist. So we need to go find a place to camp in this. Wish us luck. According to the map, this, this place promises stunning views. So hard just to pick a place to camp, to be honest, because just everywhere you look, just fantastic views. That's a particular favourite, yeah. Hmm. So this is where we're going to set up camp, we're going to set the tent up, and then I want to get inside that tent because it means we can have an episode of... Tent Talks! Here we are on the Isle of Wight. We're on the south coast of the Isle of Wight right now, and in the morning we're gonna go a bit further down to a town called Sandown, hopefully to get some breakfast. We want to go to the amusements, the arcades, and have a go on the 2P machine, just cause, just cause we're sad. We're not sad. 2P machines are absolutely amazing. If you don't like two beat machines, and subscribe now. And subscribe now. <laughs> so that was a quick tent talk, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Morning. Yeah. Another bug. Good morning. Let's get rid of this. Hold on. Another beautiful day on the Isle of Wight, as you can hear. Forecast for today's rain all day. So at some point we're just going to have to get up and get out into the rain. What, do it another 10 minutes, Luke? Give it 10. Slash 20. Slash, slash 30. It's maybe an hour. <laughs> and then we'll get up. Rain stopped for a little bit, so we're just managing to pack up the bags. And the most heavy item. Yeah. <laughs> Inappropriately heavy locks. It's still raining just a little bit, but it's enough for us to pack this tent down, pack our bikes up, and then we're going to get going. It's the Culver battery. It was also manned in both World War One and World War Two. I think it was to help defend Portsmouth. Just left the camp site. Now we're heading down this massive hill to Sandown where we're going to get some breakfast and maybe a cup of tea. We made it. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fear. Yeah. 
What about breakfast? Crazy golf and amusements. So like Chris uh... He's been the talk of the course today with his huge drives and his amazingly bizarre behavior. So we're in Sandown, and I think we must be about here. They see where this pox are. I think that's either the, the pier or that's the pier. So we're going to go down here on Route 23, which is called the Red Squirrel Trail. Now, red squirrels are native to the UK, but if you're in the UK, you'll see lots of grey squirrels, which are actually an American pest and now they're killing the red squirrels. We've left Sandown Pier now and we're just heading along the coastal path. We're just going to push on now. Excellent, eh? How are you, sir? You well? What's happening, man? You good? My friend Luke. Say hello, Ashley. Oh, right, Luke, how you going, man? Yeah, good, good, good. Sorry, for the YouTube video. I'm on YouTube, huh? Yeah. Oh, Ray, you're gonna sit on the Isle of Wight. And you, man. Oh, yeah, I'm just with my daughter, you yeah, know, chilling, <laughs> having a good time. There's no way I see Ray on the Isle of Wight. You know. <laughs> wow. I think this is the biggest hill we've climbed. It's called Cowsley's Hill, I believe. Isle of, Wa Isle of Wight. It's absolutely mega, it's killing me. Just stopped outside this house called The Lynch and just to catch my breath and have a drink. Got to keep on pushing to the top of the hill. This is, just, this is coming into Ventnor. I'm absolutely starving. Let's go and find a shop and buy some food. Yeah? Yeah, I'm hungry too. Yeah. <laughs> What's that boys? Yes, Ray! Hey, where are you heading? To um, Black Gang! Do you see it, Ray? Great childhood memories coming here, Black Gan Shine. I used to come here all the time. I think we've got a family photo under that guy. Mum, I think it's the photos, mum, dad, brother, sister, and myself. Yeah, great memories here. <laughs> they've got like mazes, flumes. <laughs> I had talking bins as well, you throw your rubbish away, let's see. Got you here, my tummy rumbling. <laughs> Imagine, I can't tell the smile off my face, it's really fun. So we've just left Black Gang Chain, where Chris went as a kid. Just cycling along, enjoying the sunshine, and looking for a place to camp. Let's go! Found the Isle of White Needles, Chris. What's oh, through there? 
And like everything at the Isle of Wight, we can't see it. <laughs> Somewhere in those clouds is the famous Isle of Wight Eagles. <laughs> I mean, there are um, theories, where, especially when it's foggy actually, about the soldiers that you can hear them at night marching along. So if that is true, make sure you don't waste that battery on me. So when it's foggy, the dead soldiers come out and march? That you could hear them, yeah. That is the rumour. Well, it's foggy and we need to camp up there, so... Yeah. I want it is very eerie up there. And be really careful. just above the famous Isle of Wight Needles. Now the girls down there also said that it's haunted up here. There's ghosts of soldiers marching. So tonight we might be camping around marching ghosts. Anyway, let's go and find a place to camp. So we've got the tent cell up. Can't see a thing. You can probably see more than us because of the night vision on the camera. <laughs> yeah, we're in, the, we're in the middle of a cloud right now. Yeah, just surrounded by fog. What was that? Chris? Chris? <laughs> and we're in tent talk. So we were riding along today and out of the blue was one of my old friends Ray. I was like, Ray, what are you doing here? And he was like, Chris, what are you doing here? And Ray's a really funny guy. He's one of these guys whose mind's just a but one of the funny things he did is he put a, a train horn in the back of his van and we'd be driving along. He'd drive past like a, a normal person on the street and just go bah! It's more like a bah! Yeah, it's, it's quite scary, but the, it's actually, everyone found it quite funny. It's probably slightly illegal, but it was, it was quite funny and got some good memories with him. Really good day's ride, lots of little things happened today. We covered a lot more miles than we expected. We pretty much crossed the whole island. I'm so tired now that I could just sleep anywhere. Good morning. So foggy this morning, you can't see anything anywhere. Morning, Chris. Morning, Luke. It's still cloudy, is it? No, no, it's absolutely fine, mate. Oh, Clear as day out here. The abyss. I think there's actually quite a good view down there, we just can't see it. The thing is, no one can see us either. Ultimate stealth camping. <laughs> Packing the bikes up, I head to Totland. Just heading down the cliff towards Totland in the, in the fog. So we're just riding through Totland. We've just received a message to say we've got a parcel waiting for us at the local post office. So we're going to go now and go and pick it up. Where's the post office? Yeah, 
what is this stuff, Chris? It's like protein powder, isn't it? But like for backpacking in the wild. Now, shake! I said shake, round and roll! I said shake, round and roll! I said shake, round and roll! Bottoms up! I actually really like it. <laughs> Genuinely. Pepsi. This tastes like Weetabix, but nutty. It's not amazing, it's a bit bitty. Milky and nutty, it's like, it's like a watery Snickers bar. So we're gonna try each other's now. Wow, this one's really nice. Mm. That one's not as good, is it? I prefer that one. Not that I don't like this one, but I prefer, I prefer the Snickers, the, the milky and nutty one. What are the odds of this? Chris said, go up there, the fog will clear, we'll get this amazing shot of the needles and they'll all be like, wow, the island white, and it's right. Yeah, they won't notice the difference with that, Chris. Back to the fog. Oh. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Rotating road. Stop the whole road So we've just arrived in Yarmouth and now we were going to go straight onto the ferry which goes from behind the lifeboat however we've just seen that there's a little traditional English fair happening over here so I think we might go check it out So this is a traditional English coconut shy, is it? Yeah. If I, if I hit a coconut, I win a coconut. Yeah, if you knock one off, you win it. There we go. We've got a judge and an adjudicator here. So there's no cheating for YouTube. Let's see. Oh. Oh, no. That No! Yeah. Anyway, archery time. Oh. Archery time. Okay, archery. archery. Don't call me Robin Hood for nothing. Booyah! Booyah! He's won. He's won. He's won. Three on the target. Anything there? Anything there? What, Luke, what should I get? Well, we're going on a ferry, so maybe a fish. I am a nice man, but I don't give too much away, but he's got one eye, so that's the free gift to go from the point for the mascot. I got wonky willy. <laughs> <laughs> wonky willy. And this is blue-eyed Billy. Anyway, we need to go catch the ferry now. Just getting the ferry to mainland England to Livington. Left the Isle of Wight now. So we've just arrived in Lymington now. Got to go and find Chris and the bikes. And we're going to cycle on the coast and try and find somewhere to camp. There. On the car deck now. Just got to try and find Chris. Here we go, just in time.
tripped over that red tape. <laughs> tripped over the red tape. <laughs> Haven and it's getting a bit dark so we're just going to wait for the light to go really down and then this is probably our least stealthiest place we've camped so far we're right on the beachfront we're a bit to be honest with you a bit scared because the tide is coming in it's behind us <laughs> we don't know do we, Chris? If it's going to be. I might drown in the night. We're taking a bit of a risk. But yeah. it's we're not. Be, it's going to be our last meal. Tents up, the waves are very near us, and we think the tide's still coming in, so we might drown in the night still. So um, if we do, I hope you enjoyed watching and it was nice to know you all. Subscribe here, subscribe here, subscribe, subscribe. It won't matter because we'll be dead in the morning if we drown. Well, we could end up on the Isle of Wight. Yeah, back on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> my, my review of the Isle of Wight. I don't know if I like the Isle of Wight because I didn't see it. Thanks for watching so far in the video and this is a little treat for watching so far. You're going to learn something here. Go on. The reason that tent talk is so important is I never, I only talk to Chris in a tent. <laughs> so I won't talk to Chris again until the next time we're on tour. It's totally silent the whole tour. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Morning, Luke. Morning. <sighs> Last day on the road. Yeah. Woo. Oh. If you look out your door, I've got an extra special surprise. Oh, rocks. <laughs> Just a bit higher. Oh, wow, is that the needles? It's the needles. That's the needles. Wow. See the lighthouse at the right of the screen? And now we are going to head along the coast, get some breakfast, and then head to Bournemouth Beach for some paddle boarding. We're looking for breakfast and we found all you can eat. Woo! Breakfast all done. Now let's head along the coast to Bournemouth. Normally I'd be a bit sad at this point, thinking, oh, yeah, it's the end of the adventure. But it's not every day that we end an adventure on a sunny afternoon with a sandy white beach and a paddleboard. So I'm not too sad at the moment. I'm quite looking forward to it.
the south coast. Complete! Cycled all this way, I've not had an ice cream the whole time. Here it is, my reward ice cream. Hey look, what's over there? Oh, Chris, I can't believe it. Sorry, man. Over 200 miles for that ice cream. <laughs>